So mindset for today, this one I came up with my own. I actually really love. Um, and you know, all the stuff in the past I've taught you is stuff I've learned from other people, I've done, and now I take ownership of it and start to teach it. But this is something I actually came up with one morning when I was reading scripture. And um, I think it's pretty powerful. And it starts this concept called S3, okay, like an S and, and three. And I actually was at a point where I was going to even name our clinic this at one point. Um, but it's Seek, Serve, and Save. So S3. And I think it's really powerful for us to look at in life and say, this is really what we're called to do. And we focus on these three things, everything else falls in place. So when you focus on seeking God, seeking the Lord, getting on your knee, uh, knees, hands and knees every, every morning, and praying and just seeking His presence, learning, growing, building wisdom, talking to Him, walking through your day in prayer, all those things are part of seeking the Lord. And then you uh, serve God, you serve others, right? You serve the Lord by serving others, by doing what you feel like He's called you to do, by helping people, by being in your zone throughout the day. And when you're in that zone, you are just doing your thing. You're serving people. You're helping people. And so looking, one of the things I do for service is I like to put my hands out and look at my hands. Yes, I know. I just let go of the steering wheel. Don't. Somebody's going to tell me this on, on, later on. But anyways, I, I look at my hands. And um, I look and I say, who are these hands going to serve today? That's been a, t- a tool for me that's been extremely powerful. That I look at my hands, okay, who are these hands going to serve today? And I just start visualizing these hands, adjusting patients. I start visualizing them. And when I walk into a room, I try to remind myself, I don't always do this, but I try to remind myself I have to look at my hands and ask that question when I walk in the room. So then I'm present in that moment to think about serving them. That service might doesn't have to be like, uh, you know, cleaning their house. It could be, or feeding them. It could be a service of, telling them their hair looks great. I feel in my mind that's serving somebody. It could be a service of giving them a hug or a high five because no one else does. It could be something like that, just lifting them up, right? So this idea of service, so seek God, serve others, and then by doing that, you are going to save lives. And that could be when I'm adjusting patients and getting their nervous system functioning at a high level and their body's healing from digestive issues and health problems. I'm saving their life physically. It could be when you're um, bringing people to Jesus because you're in such a state and powerful zone that they're just following you and they're doing what you, uh, they, they look up to you and they want to know what you have. Like when you're the light of the world, when you're the light of the world, people want to be that, right? They want that. And it just lights everybody else up. And so you're going to save lives by seeking and by serving. So maybe write that down. Maybe take that with you throughout your day. Maybe put a sticker on the back of your phone. Maybe put it on your screensaver. Just seek, serve, and save. S3 to remind you, like when you're going through your day and you're feeling down, there's no better way to get over um, a depression than to serve somebody, to seek God. There's no better way than to seek your, your father um, than, than, than and to help with depression than that. I mean, it's just powerful. So that's it, guys. Seek, serve, save. Use that today, and I think it will it'll serve you well if you um, use that throughout your daily life. All right? You guys have an awesome day. We'll talk to you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you want to connect with us and learn more, we're constantly shooting information or shooting videos. We actually have a blog as well, and we have a website where you can learn so much more. If you want help with your health, you can actually connect with us, come into our clinic, or jump on a phone call with us and see if we can help you. To do that, go to the links below in the, in the information area and click those areas, and then you can move forward and see how we can actually address and help you with your health issues as well.